Let's say that we have a superintendent here in the audience. First time hearing about PLCs. With all of the dynamic speakers that you've heard and all of the great presentations that you've heard, I don't blame you if you get excited and that you want to go back to your, your staff or your district and get started. But this is what generally happens. You'll go to a session on data analysis. You'll go to a session on common assessments and looking at good formative assessments. You'll go to a session about collaborative culture, etc. And you'll go be excited and go back and stand before your district as a superintendent and said, I found the great magic dust. We will be a PLC. And then your staff members or the members of your district look at each other and say, what? A PL what? And then what we do is take these tools and place them in the hands of people who aren't culturally prepared to deal with what they've been given. So in education, we've been inundated with technical changes, things like block scheduling. That changed the world, didn't it? We've rearranged the seats on the Titanic so many times, but the things that, that happen inside of the classroom have not changed. It's the same almost as it was 125 years ago when we were a one-room schoolhouse in a rural area where kids went to school for three or four months to learn basic, basic skills. So simply tinkering around the periphery is not gonna make the deep change that needs to be made. 